Hi everyone, welcome to Be Smart Together. Before we start, please click subscribe and turn on the notification to avoid missing valuable videos. Also, feel free to drop a comment below. I created a video a few weeks ago explaining the list accumulate function. In this video, I want to show you how to use this function to create multiple columns, and I'll show you how to write nested let statements later in this video. We have a sales table, and a discount rate table. We want to add columns to calculate the discount for each discount rate. We are expecting something like this. Let's begin. Right click on the top left corner, and select add column. Name it 0%. The formula is sales times 0. Add currency dot type to the formula as highlighted. It defines the data type. We want to use the list.accumulate function to help us with the heavy lifting. Before we continue, I cover the basics of this function a while back. I highly recommend you watch that video if you are new to this function. Let's do a quick recap. The list.accumulate function has three arguments, list, seat, and accumulator. The list, in our case, is the row number of the discount list. Remember, the row number in the Power Query starts from zero. The seed is the previous step. I always use X and Y instead of state and current. Replace the highlighted code with X, as it is the starting point, or seed. Since we are adding multiple columns, the highlighted code needs to be replaced with a list of column names. We use the number to text function, converting the number to text with a percentage sign. Also, we need to replace the highlighted zero with a list of discount rates. Here are all the columns added. We use the list accumulate function to generate columns based on the discount rates. The next scenario is to add a condition to the formula based on the discount rate table. The outcome we want to achieve is to add 5 columns and the discount rate in each column. Before we add the condition to the list accumulate function we created earlier, we need to set the discount rate table in the right format. We need to have the lower bound and upper bound quantity split. We now have the discount rate table set, and let's go to the sales table. Go to the advanced editor. I want to show you a different way to write M code. Nested let expression. Let expression starts with let, and ends with in. Anything between is transformation steps or variables. Let's tidy up the code a bit, so it is easy to read. We want to turn this formula into a nested let expression, so we need to start with let. Let's declare our first variable and name it last row. Then, we replace the highlighted code with the declared variable, last row. Now, declare the second variable, and name it discount. Replace the highlighted code with the second variable, which is the list of the discount rate. Give a name to the formula as highlighted. Use the tap key on the keyboard to shift the highlighted code to the right. Let's finish up the let expression within. And the final expression check if any syntax error, then click OK to continue. Checking the result, and all good. Writing the code either way will give you the same result. It is up to you which method you prefer. We need to add another two variables, the lower bound and upper bound quantities, for the conditional formula. We want to add another let expression here. Create a variable for sales, name it S. Replace the highlighted code, sales, with S. Create another variable for quantity, and name it Q. Give the calculation step a name, concal. The conditional statement is, if the quantity is greater than, or equal to the lower bound quantity, and less than, or equal to the upper bound quantity, then sales time the discount rates from the list of discount rates, else zero. Now we can close the let expression. Click done to save the changes. If we make changes to the discount rate table, all the calculations will dynamically change, including the column name. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to click like if you like the video.